Welcome to To Enable Help. In this module I'm going to demonstrate how to create a organizational group, how to edit its, the members in the group and how to create an event for that uh, group. So once you've logged in, uh, you need to do this through the full Silverlight app. This is uh, one of those uh, functions that are available in the, in the full application only and, and it's not available in the online suite. Um, certainly not the setup. So if I go to to enable, uh, what we're going to operate with is the demo user and we're going to set the demo user up as uh, the administrator of a group. Um, so we're going to make them the group leader and as being the group leader, the demo user will be able to set up, uh, will be able to decide who's in the group and also will be able to create events for the group. So you can see in my organizations that he's a member of Casterbridge and um, Rob Ferreira and he is not a member of any groups. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just exit that and I'm going to open up the application where as the uh, organizational administrator, okay, so we need to go to my to organizations on the system, on the administrator menu, so you need to be an administrator to do this and uh, what I've done is in fact created a demo group, so you need to be in the edit mode to do this and to create a new group you literally go to the bottom of the list and you, you click on the row so there it says click here to add new row and you can create whatever group you want okay so i've already created the demo group and it's just some functionality while you're in the space if you select a row by clicking on the left and you hit the delete button it will in fact delete a, a row that you've added by mistake so in the demo group there are currently no users Okay, so there needs to be a user. You need to set up a user as to who the group leader is. And uh, I could, for instance, select, uh, I'll select myself to be part of the group. And um, I'm adding a next user is demo user. And um, you can add as many users as you want into the group. So, so this in itself is a way to decide who is in the group. So if you've got administrator rights and you can come to the organizations and you can edit organizations, you can decide who's in a group. And then going from here, you can then decide who the organizational administrator for that group is. So here you can see there are two people in, in the group. So it's given you a list of two people that you can select. Uh, here's a group where there hasn't been a group leader selected, uh, where no group leader has been selected. So, for instance, I could make Jabalani the group leader of that group. Um, what's important is once you add users here, if you come straight back to this field and you, you select the drop down, there will be no users in this drop down. What you need to first do is select uh, another field in the table and then come to this drop down and the user's name will appear. So in this case I have created a group called demo group. I've added two users to it and I've made the demo user, uh, I've made them the group leader. So this is the group leader field and the demo user the group leader. And by I'm going to hit save and save is going to now obviously uh, make those, save those changes. So this has been done at an administrator level and you need to have administrator rights for the organization to do this. So what we've in fact done is we have said the demo user is now going to be the group leader for that group. So if we go back to as demo user, demo user now goes to his organizations, what you'll first see is this, nothing's changed at the top, but at the bottom here you have the fact that he is a member of the demo group and he is the demo demo user is the group leader. So if it, if he wasn't the group leader, it would tell him who the group leader was. Because he's the group leader, it's given him these two buttons. One is to edit the members, and the other is to create an event. So as you've seen through the administrator function, you have had an ability to cre create the members of a group. But we've said that demo leader, demo user has got uh, access to do this. And what will happen is when he decides to edit the members is it loads up a drop down of all the users. Now it seemed to have taken a long time for two users, but if I were to do a drop down, you will notice that actually all the users who are members of the organization have appeared in this space. So I could uh, choose Aggie for instance and make him a, 
um, add him to the group and then if I select OK it's in fact going to save it. So in that space we now are able to obviously edit who is in the group and we've given demo user the rights to do it and, and we've a been able to do this even though demo user is not an administrator. Uh, we've, we've basically delegated uh, the role of managing this group to demo, demo user, um, which is quite a handy tool. And as you can see, it, take, it does take some time for this to load, and it, and it depends on how many people are, are in your organization. The next thing you can do for demo users, he can create an event. And you've got to give the event a name. So I'm just going to call it event name. And you can say where it is. So it could be in the theater, it could be in uh, classroom, uh, type classroom 1A or something. So you decide where the, the event is. You've got uh, the address, the about event, it could be a uh, drama uh, practical. So it could be telling children, students in your organization that they've got to come to a drama practical. You can then choose the date. Um, and you can choose the time. So the best thing on the time is actually to use a 24 hour clock. So if it's aimed at one o'clock in the afternoon, you just type 13 colon zero zero. That makes it 1 p.m. And then we're going to make it until 14, which will make it to 2 p.m. And um, it's showing up an error here. And the error is, uh, if we hit save, it's probably going to to tell us what the error is, but I can tell you that is on the 6th of August, and for some pe peculiar reason it, it seems to give the month first, so thanks for American. So it was saying that the end time actually was uh, was occurring before the start time, so that's why we had that, that error. So once you've completed all of the fields, you can then hit OK, and it will create this event in uh, the calendar. So I'm not going to save that event. But, uh, because I'm using this to demonstrate to you how, how it is done. So after you, you create the event, what it will do is if I go back home, is in my calendar, that event will appear in my calendar. Um, what it will also do, and that's the reason why I haven't created the event, is it will send an SMS to all the users in that group. And it will tell them about the event and it will ask them to attend the event. So they will actually get an event notification to attend that event. So just going over that a, a second time, as an org administrator, and I'm going to open up the org administrator page, you can create an event. I mean, you can create a, an organizational group as we've done. So I will go to a demo group and you can decide who's in the demo group. Um, you'll notice Aggie's not in this demo group, but if I refresh this page, because we're looking at old data, it will put Aggie into that demo group. So that's one way, as an organization administrator, you can do that. And, this, and depending on who, um, sorry, depending on who the uh, team leader is, and in this case, it's, it's, it's demo user, demo user can also then decide who is in that group. And demo user can create an event for that group. Now, there is a way for the organization administrator to create an event for that group. And if I return to the organization administrator screen, which is this one, there is, a, there is an event um, module, and through that module, the organization administrator can create an event. But that will be covered in a, a different video. So I hope that explains to you how to create an organizational group, and how to edit members, and how to create an event.